<laughs> this is Jay Donovan from TechCrunch. I'm here with David Marcus from PayPal. David, two quick questions. Uh, you guys were just talking a lot about NFC mobile payments. In uh, the first question is NFC. I've read many reports where NFC is going to take five, potentially seven. I've even read some that say ten years out before it's ubiquitous and really is part of the ecosystem. So in that time, and this guy, this probably plays right into your guys' strategy potentially, but in that time, it's going to take for NFC to embed. Are other uh, other payments processes going to uh, supplant it? Is that? What do you think about that? Well, I'd be shocked if that wasn't the case. Like, you know, four and a half years ago, the iPhone didn't exist, right? And we couldn't imagine all of the things we're doing today with iPhone. And to think that, you know, within five years, the best thing we can come up with is actually tapping a phone instead of swiping a card. You know, I think it's, uh, those are small ambitions. Like, we feel that having a wallet in the cloud and, you know, 106 million users as far as PayPal is concerned is going to enable us to reinvent shopping and, you know, have really completely disruptive ways of, you know, of paying for things outside of the, the, the point of sale terminal. You know, we, we have a, a living example of that here in Barcelona with our paella restaurant up the stairs right here, where you can skip the line by paying with PayPal, and you can scan your QR code right here, and by the time you get there, the paella is waiting for you, and you know, NFC wouldn't have enabled that shopping experience and could have prevented it. So you know, we see that you know, the, the shopping experiences are, are moving away from the point of sale and are getting distributed in stores, there are different shopping experiences whether you're actually at a restaurant or whether you're actually shopping at an electronics store, but all of these uh, payments experiences, the new types of payments experiences, we, we don't see the actual you know, leverage of the NFC playing a, a, a big role. Okay, well, great. The second question which kind of leads into that, is there any reason in a cloud-based ecosystem that you, you have to store card credentials in the secure element. It seems like, to me, that seems like a figment from the offline past of card networks. Uh, so, is that ne is that even necessary nowadays? What do you? We don't see it necessary. You know, the, 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 the actual physical device, as far as we're concerned, is used for authentication of the user, and the transaction happens in the cloud. The, the payment data never needs to be stored on the phone or on the device, which you know sometimes can be, you know, can present security issues as well. But but we don't need to do it. You know, if your payments is accessible because it's in the cloud on any types of device, you know, whether it's a computer, it's a mobile phone, or it's a point-of-sale terminal that, that is independent, then you know, why store the credential on uh, a silicon chip on, in a phone? Okay, great. Thanks a lot for talking to me. Thank you.